and friends, and welcome back to this mess. Um, I just, I don't even know what to say about it at this point, other than let's just see how much worse it can possibly get. Um, so, how many times you have to help? Um, yeah, that's what the skip button is for. <laughs> um, so, um, just a couple of... There's Doggo in background. Uh, so a couple of things. Um, I know you guys have said that you really like my commentary on games, and, uh, so if you would like to see me, uh, do commentary on some more games, um, then you should definitely check out, uh, my boyfriend's gaming channel, Sin Vengeance Gaming. I'll have a link, uh, below. I'm in almost all of his Let's Plays, and so we're both doing commentary. He plays, and then I just kind of, uh, assist, and so I'm just kind of there. And so if you, um, are interested in more of this kind of thing, just non-phantom games, um, then go check that out. Also, um, because I know how popular this series is, um, for Patreon subscribers, uh, if you haven't seen the message on Facebook, um, I am going to be releasing, um, these videos at least a week early, um, for my Patreon, uh, subscribers and you can just be tier one to get access to that. Um, so, uh, if you'd like, if you're impatient, then, uh, you can, uh, get access to those, uh, a week early, um, if you are a Patreon subscriber. Again, the link is in the description, and I'll have it, like, across the screen. There will be a doggo coming in and out of this video, and, and crying at me because he wants to play, um, outside. Um, he's the cryingest damn dog I think I've ever seen, but it's okay. We love Strider anyway. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Play! Okay. Continue. I'm trying to, like, remember where we left off. And I am at my boyfriend's house, so that's. You left off somewhere after Dumbledore. Somewhere after Dumbledore's iron deficient cousin. <laughs> um. Okay. All this like crazy stuff we have. Okay. A metal, a shovel, pliers, broken mirror portal, amulet, lockpick. I also, for once again, forgot to turn on the cursor. I'm sorry. You know what? You did? How do you... Okay. Okay, all done. There it is. So, now you can kind of see where I'm I'm going here. And you can see just how lost I like, get at times. You know everyone's going to be watching Stormfly off there in the background behind you. Yeah, they're well... Not, they're not going to be watching you this video. I mean, it might not even be in the... Uh, oh, I, thing I see how it is. Because I have to... You're so jealous that you're going to cut Stormfly out. No, no, that's not the plan. Yeah. That's not the plan. Um, but I can only have, like, a square capture of my face. Otherwise, there, it covers up the game. Anyway, so we have all of this mess. Um... Music square? Alright, what do we need to be doing? Okay. Pigeon should deliver a message for me. Okay, well we don't have anything to like. Unless we need to deliver this metal to someone. Okay. That was my best idea there. Um. Do we still need to like, do something with this cat? Like... <sighs> I don't know. Um Is that you? Excuse me, sir. What are you doing? 
He is throwing a fit. He wants some freaking attention. Oh, yes. Yes, that's, that's his stuffy. Well, we're going to have even more doggo interruptions than I anticipated, but... If I'm going to have interruptions, at least it's by cute doggo. All right, go back to Roselle's room. Just, okay, here's my question. This is Roselle's room. It very clearly said that when we went up here. So why are there all these pictures of Bruna and Bruna and Isaac? Like, did Bruna do that? Or did Roselle just randomly have pictures of her husband and the chick who was obsessed with him in her room? I'm, I'm very curious to know whose idea <laughs> the decor was. Go back to the wardrobe room. Um, is there anything else we need to sew up in here? I may jump cut if I can't figure it out really soon what I'm supposed to even be doing right now. Oh, oh my god. That kind of freaked me out a little bit. All right. And we have gone back here. I feel like I've seen a place where we need to insert that metal. Like, like there was a shape where we needed to uh, do that. Um, the question is where? And then, obviously, there's something that needs to be... A lock that needs to be picked, but I have not seen any locks. And we cannot go back any... I keep hitting the thing with my... Okay. Hopefully that will be sufficient. Um... Alright, so we can't go back any further. A shovel pliers... Okay, um... We've already dug what we needed to dig out of there. Okay, um... I don't see anything. Okay, so we need to go to the music square. So whatever we're supposed to be doing is in here. Okay, so here's... Okay, we obviously need to do something here, but I'm not 100% sure. So we're just gonna try everything. I don't know what the hell a shovel or a... Really? We're using a metal to unscrew... To fix your amulet! Okay. Well, obviously we can fix the amulet now. Um... Now, where we need to go to... I still want to know how... what we deliver to someone. Okay, well, there's paper and a thing, but it's not telling us we need to deliver messages right now. Um, okay, we still got this cat that is shiny. Like, I don't... Oh, there's a thing we missed. Maybe that's why it was still shiny. Oh, okay, that explains it. Okay, there's gotta be something going on. Oh. 
The bird delivers the amulet. Okay, so we have Christine, the world's greatest speed painter, and Raoul, the world's greatest. Oh, it is time! Come, Christine. We oh, must perform this is the Christine. ritual. Oh no. Um. Uh oh. Yeah, apparently uh, Christine is a really great artist and is the world's fastest speed painter and uh, just... Dearest Raoul, you must go to the cemetery near the old opera house. There's something important there. I know it. I'll meet you at the big tree. Yours always, Christine. There's something important there. I know it. So she doesn't know. She's just guessing. Um. Okay. Uh. Well then. I am still knocking this forking camera. Um, I'm assuming there's nothing left to do here. Looks like we are done in this area, and so it's time to do this. More fucking magic shit. I just, I can't when it comes to Phantom and Supernatural stuff. I'm always one it step ahead angry. of that fool, Raoul. His lack of attention will be his downfall when he encounters my traps. Raoul can overcome anything, you'll see. Forget about him, darling. A She's... better fate awaits you in my troop. <laughs> She's oddly calm. For someone who's about to get sacrificed. <laughs> To, like Satan or something. Oh boy, another puzzle. Mm. Okay. Easy. Shut up. Okay. So. So we're trying to like recreate the This is very confusing. Oh no. I am I am still very curious. to what age group this was intended for because I don't understand like like what I'm even doing Nope. I'm done. I'm- no. <laughs> I'm so done. No. Boom. See? Easy. Yeah, sure. Huh? I said I actually saw exactly what you needed to do. 
like, instantly. <laughs> well, I mean, I know what they, like, the end goal is, but how to get there is what is... Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I know what the end goal is, I just didn't quite understand the actual steps. Looks like there was once a nice bracelet in there. Okay, I don't know why you think that, but... Alright, so this is Roselle. <laughs> okay, 1881. Can... Dot, dot, ellipses. Cannot return. Um, okay. Cannot forget. My dear Roselle, I struggle to live without you. You always supported me and you were my only muse. You're gone now, but I brought your favorite lilies and I am sad you can't enjoy them. I promise we'll be together again soon. Um. Sure. Um, here's a baton. Can we stick that in there? Oops. Well, I'd have figured. All right, so now we got a fan and a screw, and that's it. I think their wedding rings belong here. Damn, this is this is getting kind of morbid. All right, what's this shit? Oh, more shrooms. Shrooms. The only way to get through these is to set them on fire. Yes. I don't know about you, but I think Raul might be a pyromaniac. Kill it with fire. Could we just throw acid on him? That would work too. Apparently that's not the answer though. Um, I don't think you need to set them on fire. I think you could just cut through them if you found something that, you know, could cut through them. But no. Ral's brain goes straight to fire. I, yeah, well, <laughs> doesn't surprise me with you, but, oh, here's Bruna. Need to protect my hands somehow. I thought, okay, yeah, I was gonna say, I was like, didn't we find gloves? Okay, some kind of shackle. That's a little disturbing. Okay. <coughs> Looks like a little bird has flown away. Alright, well, um... Bruna... a little creepy. Um, okay. I'll need some kind of leverage. Um, oh, there must be some tool we can use to keep this together. Okay. Um, now can we? Oh, Jesus. Okay. And where'd the... Okay. Jesus, they're so picky in this game. One minute, it, the logic is non-existent, and then you have to get this complicated. Alright. It's a squirrel. <laughs> Poor squirrel must be hungry. I'll help you, friend. Or, okay, can you just whack that with a hammer? No. Something to help me dissolve the metal. Like, Acid. the methods for. <laughs> um. Okay, well, there's kerosene in a bottle. Oh, Ajax. Well, then. Why do they need to feel. They feel the need to feed all the animals, and I still haven't quite figured it out. Crush it to see what's inside. Well, luckily we have a hammer. That's a razor blade. A rusty razor blade. Okay. 
Well, all right. We'll have to find the handle. Okay, well, the handle was literally just there, so how about you just look down? And then you can... Oh, dear. Like... It, it just dropped, like, right there. It's... Alright, there's one. Nothing is free, even in an abandoned opera house. Insert coin. I'm sorry. Are we supposed to wave this sh away like that? Okay. Yeah. I thought that he was like, I have to pay for this ring before I can take it. Like, none of these people seem to understand the urgency of the situation, that this is like a life and death situation. I, I don't think anybody's quite figured that out yet, even though, like, the whole point is that he kills people to be in this troop. But okay. Well, I need something hooked to pull the plug. Here's a stick and a leaf. Um, is that good enough for you? Okay. Oh, there it is. I don't know why Isaac threw one of their wedding rings into a pond, but you know. I have 100% stopped questioning any source of logic in this game. Um, the shape looks like a fish. Well, we can go back to this now. I'm sorry, but why would he need to open her grave in the first place? Like, okay. All right, we're looking for lots of brooches and bookmark and music sheet. I need to complete this somehow. All right. Oh, fun times. I'm just clicking on random stuff at this point. Um. What is she completing? Like, what piece is that? And why did it need to be completed? Okay, what are we stabbing? Um, alright. Okay, this is really weird that we're doing a Where's Waldo, essentially, in somebody's grave. Something about this just doesn't feel right to me. I'm sorry. Um, that also was not a flute. That was a recorder. There's a very large difference. Um... Alright, um, we still need a fan, and... Where's the second one? Who cares? Uh, bookmark and a pocket watch. Um, and this bookmark could look like literally anything. Is it inside of this? Because someone felt the need. Alright. My dear Isaac, I promise to be your wife and support you through all of your musical aspirations and sickness and in health. I'm overjoyed to be your wife. You are... yeah, Rosa. You are my guiding light in a sea of darkness. As my muse, you are sure to inspire many of my masterpieces. Alright, there's that bracelet that was supposed to be in whatever that was out there. Okay. 
Alright, so apparently she needs her bracelet back. Okay. Oh, and some matches. Right. Alright, let's go be a pyro. Okay. I think the only way to get through these is to set them on fire. Um, here's your kerosene. And here's your matches. And it's not saying to combine them. Torch base. Okay, so we're creating a torch. We're not just throwing some kerosene on the thing and, uh, then throwing a match at it. Which would have been the easiest method, but no. We can't do anything the easy way in this game. Of course not. Alright. At least this way is probably a little safer. Alright, let's set this shit on fire. Because we couldn't just find something to chop it with, or... Okay, that didn't burn anything. That made them magically move. Okay, is there something else we need to do over here? No. Okay. <laughs> oh, great. There she is. Um, who is this? Huh? Okay, Alfred left Batman's side and jumped into this. Ah, hello. I'm Gregor Clintz, Isaac's Gregor. personal architect. After the fire, he refused to appear in public because of his face. Instead, he built this dungeon under the theater. Wait. I designed the dungeon and all its traps. Then, Isaac imprisoned me here and took away my sight so that I couldn't reveal what I knew. Well, damn. I will help you lower the bridge if you remove this vile bandage from my eyes. It can only be cut with a ghostly dagger. More magic. Magic is such a, like, a convenient plot device, and it's one of the reasons why I hate it when they use it in anything is because a lot of the time it's just because they don't want to find a rational way to explain things in the plot. Master, I am writing to report that the drawbridge blueprint you ordered is ready. I have also placed traps in the locations you designated. I have a couple other ones projected. Architect Glenn's. Hmm. Okay. Some people must have felt so bad for him they were willing to help him with this dungeon. I don't know what sane person would have helped him with this, but, you know. So, you want to enter the storeroom, eh? I'll let you pass if you solve this riddle. The voice acting is just 10 out of 10 in this game. Just... Everybody's voice. Just, just freaking 10 out of 10. This can be used to see what is there. A queen used hers to find the most fair. All right, I'm pretty sure we're talking this about a mirror. This can be used to see what's right there. A queen used hers to find out the most fair. Yeah, it's a mirror. That's, that's not that difficult. What? Oh, we just have the glass. We don't have the actual mirror. 
I like how they were like, you have to solve this riddle, and then they literally solve it for you by saying, like having the outline of a mirror. Okay. That. Uh I don't have time to untie this, so I better cut it open. Yeah, I can see right here how easily it would be to... Oh, probably the razor blade, but... I feel like sawing through that rope with a razor blade would have taken way more time than trying to untie it. But, you know... We never said that they were survival experts. A nut. Okay, well... We have to go back and feed that stupid squirrel. For some reason. I don't remember where we saw the squirrel, but... Over here. Okay, that's not what I'm trying to- oh. We needed the poster, I guess. Alright. Have this. Um, okay. Well, there's that. Uh, and a seashell, apparently. Well, we still don't have a coin. We still don't have a handle, but we have this. Oh, wow. Um, there's a lot of stuff in here. Oh, we didn't need anything else. Okay, mirror handle. Um, alright. Apparently we have to find the other piece first. I have to find the handle. It like we literally saw it drop right there. I I don't know what the problem is. Okay. Um We still need this bird. This burb. Okay, we need a ghostly knife in order to, uh... Please, help me get my vision back. Yeah. Alright, um... No idea. Like, we found all of these things in that little area, and, oh, get rid of this moss, the scraper. Okay, so we found something. Not only did we find the mirror thing, we found a puzzle, obviously. That's, you know, we all know how much I love that. Why was this mirror in so many pieces? Why was it made in so many pieces? That's... There's no sense in pressing them randomly. Okay, so... You know, one thing I gotta say about Mystery Legends is it had a way better, like, game soundtrack. There's, like, no music, like, throughout half of the game, like, unless you're in, like, a cutscene or something important is happening, like, there's no real mood for this game other than, like, s just s random sound effects. It, like, makes me want to put some kind of music in these videos. Oh no! I'm so bad at games, and I just don't have the patience for stuff like this. Yeah. 
Okay. I hate these. Oh yeah, you're supposed to get them all facing up. Oh no. Okay. Well, that was weird. Okay. Wasn't as complicated. Dear, I'd better find a way to scoop out this water so I don't get my hands wet. Gross. Like I said, life or death situation here, and that's what we're concerned about. She's gotta be careful. You must be joking. <laughs> What? Oh, man. Nothing in this game makes any sense. I should tie this up so it doesn't bother me. I mean, this is like... if Is the game it's like... Leaves. Rip it off. Yeah. Like, I, I wonder... I'm trying to figure out if, like, the goal of this game is to make you hate Rao. Uh, like. Probably. To make you, like, irritated with him? That's where I'm at. Wait. Bag stamp. Oh. Okay. Alright. So we found one. We need some music emblems. This nail looks... auspicious. Why, why does this nail look so out of place? But it doesn't, like, say any, it has anything to do with it. It looks very out of place. Um, oh, a theater prop. I don't know why we have the- oh, dear. There's thingy paint everywhere. Just get it. Alright, here's part of a saw. Eric once again has a weird dollhouse. Says the person building the dollhouse. I'm doing it for like the like there's like a reason. And I'm taking dolls that look terrible and making them look better. Even more terrifying. He's just sitting there. Um, okay. I bet some lemon juice and light would help me see these blueprints. No, that makes sense. Lemon juice can help you see, uh, invisible ink. Oh, that's right. You don't remember National Treasure? Only good Nicolas Cage movie? <laughs> I like how the instructions to see this hidden thing is literally right next to it. So this not so secret, uh... And these pencils are literally just made like a legit out of a chunk of wood. What a chunk. Um... I... Okay, now where... Paint remover. Well, here's this. Now we... All right, so two out of three. Now tube. Broken saw and corkscrew. Now it says that we can use this tube. The question is where. <laughs> Oh, okay. We have
have a cork now. And for some reason, this thing was in there. Oh, there's the other half of that thing. Oh, that's it. All right. Um, where was that? There's back here. Yeah. All right. Now we gotta press these in order. Quite obviously. Um. So. That, 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 A lot of these things, it's really delayed. Oh boy. Find pairs of objects. I hate pairs. Play match. Um. Oh. Okay, we are legitimately playing fucking Candy Crush right now. Yeah. No. no. You gotta be joking. <laughs> hey, I was trying to see if it had some of the same rules as Candy Crush, and it does. Okay. Why is it so. Alright. Well, whatever. I'm getting confused on how long we have to do this. You need to do two more. Oh, I guess we're supposed to do like the end goal is to take care of all of the ones that are in green. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. No, not yet. There's more things in green. I... Um... You don't f*** up, Aaron. I didn't f*** up nothing. Mm -hmm. I, I really need you to just... Shh. You always judging. Um, yeah, this might take a bit, so I'm just gonna do a jump cut. Whoa. Oh my god. That was literally Candy Crush. I, I know. And you would have done that earlier. You know, so that... There's the ghostly dagger. Stab him in the foot. <laughs> Stab him in the face. This guy's awfully trusting. I could have just stabbed the face with I don't believe it. I that. can see the world again. This will help you find the statuette that lowers the bridge. I must return to my family. At last. Mm, good luck getting out of here. But I guess you know this place better than anybody. You kind of built it. Alright. Mm, where's that chest? There was a chest. Mm. That was in here. Okay. Okay. Some kind of weird statue. Is that it? Oh. Okay. Um. All right. Is this what goes here? I mean, he said it was what found the bridge back to All right, new places we can go. Your Isaac love walks for very slowly. Is admirable, but all in vain. You've gone too far this time. Okay, so keep your hand at the level of your foot. I guess. 
He's standing. Christine, pull the lever! Quick! On a convenient trip. How did he know that lever was there? It was behind a wall. <laughs> no! <laughs> what was that? <laughs> um. Okay. I won't risk my life by jumping down there. Yeah, um, I think if Harry Potter can jump down into the Chamber of Secrets, which he couldn't even see the bottom of, I think you can, you know. I mean, granted, he did make Lockhart go down there first, but... <laughs> I'm the finest bear's companion. This place could use a bit of cleaning. I... There is no sense of urgency. No. Oh, whoa, whoa, shit. I... Okay, I think their hats fell off. Um, okay. And there's these weird fish people. Um. Do we just, like, what do we. Uh, shovel? We don't use the shovel in that? Really? Okay. Um, oh, who are these two? My dear Louis, I know how much- her Louis. I know how much you- uh, I know how much love you have for the opera and for me. Nothing will ever come between us. I hope we can even play together on stage someday. <laughs> for yours, Hannah. Mm. Special gem. Okay. There might be something inside these stitches. Maybe I could use something sharp. That's something sharp. <laughs> That's something sharp. <laughs> um. But I mean, if you want to be that way. Oh, look, we happen to have a lockpick. Oh, goody. What is that? Broken harpoon. <laughs> okay, now we're talking. The next time Isaac tries to grab you, just harpoon his ass. I never thought I'd say that about him, but he's kind of an asshole in this game. What is that? I would like to know what all of these theater props like actually do. Okay, these are steps. I have no, oh. Okay, so we can obviously do something with the harpoon. I guess there's that. Stick the axe in it. Now we need. Oh. We we have three out of three steps. I don't. Maybe you need the harpoon to create a rope, and you need those steps for that ladder that's sitting on the floor. Oh, that 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 makes sense. I didn't even notice the ladder. <laughs> Those pegs don't match the rest of them. Okay. Now we go down there. Just happens to... Hidden cave. Yeah. Oh. Okay. But we are coming up on... Uh, an hour of recording time, so I'm not gonna do a ton more in this one. Um. Yes, there should be one more button. So we'll just get a feel of what we're supposed to be doing here, and then... Oh boy! 
I'd rather not dig with my bare hands. I like the bath salt scoop. All these weird ass. Um, is that the infinity gauntlet? Like, <laughs> what? How to bring that barrel closer? I'm assuming you shoot it with the harpoon. The Marriage of Figaro! Yay! I actually sang a song. Uh, Susanna Zaria from that. For a jury this past semester. Uh, there's a huge hole already so I should finish the job. Take an axe to it? Okay. the thing come down. There's a bird. Ah, where's Lewis? Ah, I'm hungry. Feed me. Feed me. Okay. Ah. Strong horn. Need to find the other compass. Uh, I'm on my way. Soon I'll be with you again. I got your message and I've charted your coordinates. Okay, Shh. Ah, stupid ass bird. Um. Okay, well, we need the rest of that. Oh, there's that. Um. Yeah, I'll just kind of do what I can in here and then I will continue on to the next episode. I also had to go do some shit to Operetta. I promise Operetta is coming. I I just... Oh, it's the longest project ever because I keep running into problems. Okay, um... I'm not going to try and solve this right now. It's the longest project ever, not because you're running into problems. Well, I can only work on it when I'm over here. That's why it's the longest project ever, because you're only able to work on it. And I keep having to order really? things that take, like, two weeks to get here, because it's all coming from frickin' China and shit. Stop ordering Chinese things. Well, unfortunately, a lo a it's just a thing, I guess, that doll repaint necessary things have to come from China. I... Um, I'm gonna leave this one here, I guess, because I can't immediately think of anything that might work together. Uh, so yeah. Alright, so, um, that's gonna do it for this episode, and I've got to skedaddle because we're gonna go eat. I have to be back in time for the uh, official read through of the newest project I'm working on, which is uh, Bleak December's um, kind of radio play of uh, Dracula. Uh, I was just cast as Mina Harker, uh, and I am going to be accompanied by Anthony D.P. Mann, who is uh, voicing Dracula. And um, by the time this you know, gets out, I'll have already done all of this, it'll already be <laughs> probably off of YouTube and everything, but uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm excited about it, and so yay! Stay fantastic with a PH, and keep your hand at level of your eyes.